Now let's talk football. The Trinidad and Tobago's Jovin Jones has become one of the most talked about defenders in American Major League Soccer at the moment. According to a report on Seattle Sounders' official website, Jovin Jones' performance since the beginning of the 2016 MLS Cup playoffs has been nothing short of spectacular. Here's why. The 25-year-old left-back has five assists in his last 11 matches dating back to last season, including the game-winner in three of the last five Sounders wins prior to the two World Cup qualifiers for TNT in March. He's the best left-back in the MLS, according to Sounders midfielder Christian Roldan. He's that good. Joven is unpredictable. You see it in Jordan Morris's goal, where Jones makes the guy and passes it to Nicolas Lodiero before the goal was scored. Jones, a former player with W Connections, has a contract that ends in December, but already there are a few clubs eyeing the TNT player. It is understood that clubs from the German Bundesliga, the Spanish La Liga, the Mexican First Division, and also another unnamed club in France have been keeping track of the 25-year-old. At the moment, though, Jones' future is still undecided as Seattle are yet to hold any talks regarding his possible future with the club. TNT's ESPN analyst Shaka Hislop spoke about Jones' versatility on the field of play and described him as the modern-day left-back who is very good in offense as well as on defense. Jovin plays different roles for TNT and the Seattle Sounders, which speaks of his versatility. But his deeper position for Seattle doesn't tell the story of his importance for TNT. I have said many times in the past and continue to believe that Jovin is easily our most important player, a responsibility he readily accepts. Hislop has indicated. His countryman and former teammate at Intercolor Champions East Mokarapu, Kevin Molino, currently wearing Minnesota United colors, said he wouldn't mind playing on the same club side as Jones at some point in his career. Jovin Jones is a very special player in my eyes with unbelievable talent. To me, any club in the world would love to have a player like that in their team, Molino stated. In the DM. Meanwhile, national women's team coach Carolina Marches is ready to get her players back on the field as they look to continue their preparations for the 2019 Women's World Cup in France. Italian coach has had her first taste of competitive action with the women's warriors with a two-match series against Venezuela recently, drawing one and losing the other. Marachet says the focus this week is to keep going with the physical preparation and focus on the aerobic preparations as well, aiming to improve the explosive strength and speed of the individual players. Meanwhile, National 17 women's coach Manuela Tess and Joanna Daniel were accompanied by technical director Marmedissa and open trials for women's under-20 and under-17 selectees at the Dwight York Stadium training pitch, where around 48 players were assessed during that session.